player contracts seems to be sort of like the hot topic at the moment, isn't it, at West Ham, uh, following Jared Bowen's uh, recent signing of a new deal, seven years, which is you know, incredible, really. Um, I mean, I was always quite confident that, that a deal would happen with uh, Bowen, but I've got to be honest, even I was taken aback with the length of time he's committed to the club, which effectively now sees his whole career uh, in East London. So it's just, it's just fantastic. Brilliant news for all round for everybody. Um, but it's prompted now a lot of speculation about other players. Um, before I get into this, though, I just want to say we're giving away a West Ham top, uh, home away or third kit. It's something we do every month for the whole season. So all you need to do is be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button and just uh, venture back and you'll see a video uh, regarding the giveaway. All you need to do is go and add a comment on that, um, that video and you enter the competition and it's absolutely free of charge. So why not? And also, you know, you follow us on the journey. Uh, and let's be honest, this journey so far this season has been pretty good. So, yeah, you know, do stick with us. And it's, um, you know, it's really appreciated. Um, yeah, so we've got in the contracts then. It's a, as I say, it's been, let's, let's be honest, it's been a great season so far. But the Jared Bowen news really was magnificent, huge. I, I, I Honestly, I'm not lost for words how great it is. I'm, I'm so, so pleased about it. Um, I mean, the fact you've got a player of that calibre, who's now basically turned around and said, I'm going to stay for the rest of my career at, at West Ham. And he's, you know, he's not only saying that by what he's signed, he's actually saying these words, you know, it is a big, big thing. You know, we've sold Declan Rice this summer. That was something that the club didn't want to do. The fans never wanted that to happen, but it happened. So to get this now happen pretty much straight away afterwards, it really is a big thing. And it just sends the right message, doesn't it? It really does. A real united um, front now over the squad of players that we have. And this is now prompting the football club, as we talked about in the previous video, this is now prompting the football club now to um, turn their attention to other players, which was always the plan. Bowen was the number one um, sort of uh, piece of work they needed to get addressed. They needed to get Bowen sorted. That was, that was paramount because of Liverpool. You know, they, they were very keen, Newcastle keen, Arsenal as well on, um, in terms of Jared Bowen. So it was hugely important that we got that one sorted out. Uh, and make no mistake about it, right? Jared Bowen much like people talk about Lucas Paqueta and stuff like that, could have gone to a top, top club. Liverpool, you know, and these sort of clubs, Newcastle, you know, consider the fact where they're going to be going over the next few years. Um, Arsenal, of course, challenging for title, etc. Um, the fact that Bowen's now committed his, um, his future to us is the equivalent of us signing him. You know, it's, it's, that, it's huge. It's a huge, huge piece of business. It really sends the right message that West Ham are a club that's, that's on the way up. It's challenging. It's just, a, it's really, really... Um, um, significant that a player of that caliber has now committed his future. So it's right. It's right now. The club are now looking at other players. Uh, there's a couple of things that have come out uh, recently. One of them I just wanted to talk about straight away, just to address it because it's it's a really strange one, and it's it was put in the Daily Mail uh, yesterday. Um, it was kind of I don't know if they put it as exclusive, but they put it out anyway as a piece of news and said that Inter Milan are interested in Thomas Suchek. And I don't know if you've seen the article. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look. It's 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 worthwhile just for, just for a laugh, really. To be honest, have a look at it. And it's basically just saying that, well, you know, uh, Suchek's contracts up in the summer, so West Ham will risk losing him for free. Uh, so they, they're likely to sell him in January. Inter Milan are really keen, and the player, and they're kind of in the kind of players keen and all this stuff. I, I mean, which is ridiculous. It's it's absolutely ridiculous because as as we know. Uh, as we talked about on the West Ham way, an XWHU employee uh, revealed over the summer, and it then came out in uh, Athletic, was that Thomas Suchek's actually signed a new contract. He signed a new four-year contract in August. So I, I genuinely just believe that they've they've even got their wires crossed there, um, or I, if it's lazy. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to be you know critical of people. I don't know. You know, I don't know them. But it is a bit of a bizarre story because it's so factually inaccurate. Because Thomas Suchet's committed four more years at West Ham. And let's be honest, he started the season in the form that we became accustomed to when he first joined the club. Um, you know, he scored, I think, four goals, I think, in all competitions so far this season. And just looks a different player. I mean, he's, you can see the role he's now, um, he's, uh, you know, been put into. It just, it just suits him. It, it suits him so much better than it did um, uh, the last season, where obviously Declan Rice was given a bit more of... Um, a forward uh, um, role in terms of the midfield and uh, a more advanced role, shall I say. And Suchek effectively had to play a bit more, a bit deeper, play more of a defensive midfield role at times. I just, it just doesn't suit him. And we're, and we're seeing that this season. So 
uh, it's just bizarre. I, I don't really understand that where that story's come from. I, I, it's a really odd one, but it's it's totally you know inaccurate. So Thomas Suchek is absolutely you know, you know, a club aren't going to be interested in selling him, and I cannot see the player at all being interested in leaving. Why would he? He's just signed a big uh, you know a long term deal, four years. You know, it's a, a long a long term commitment. So um, I, I just think that needs to be addressed. That that, that is total rubbish. Um, the other one is uh, Kurt Zuma. This one's a little bit different because Kurt Zuma was linked with a move. Um, or, or he's linked with interest, wasn't he, um, from Saudi Arabia in the summer. And it was doing its rounds, you know, the noise that they, they were keen on the player, they were going to make a move, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and at that time, I, I possibly could have happened. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. We talked about it a little bit over the summer in terms of it, but it was all, obviously, nothing came to fruition. There was no bid, nothing ever happened. And Kurt Zuma was then made club captain. And now in the media, now it could be a case that the media are either, you know, certain people in the media are either just bringing these stories up effectively because it's a bit of a quiet time and it's just something to talk about and maybe there's some interest, or there is some real concrete interest from Saudi Arabia. We know there was interest over the summer, so I'm not to say that it's it's absolutely not, you know, dismiss it. It's, it's rubbish, but again, I, I don't know how um, concerned we need to be as West Ham fans because one. Well, you know, we, we, we had all this before and nothing came of it. Um, and let's be honest, since then, Kurt Zuma has been made the club captain. And not only that, he's come out publicly and said, basically, his love for West Ham, his pride at being the club captain and his love for David Moyes and how the club have stood by him. Um, and he owes him, owes him a lot. And, and, and to be honest with you, he is right. Like, let, let's be frank. When you consider what happened with Zuma you know, away from football, this whole cat situation, it, he easily could have been dropped. He, West Ham could have really threw him under a bus and said, yeah, no, we're dropping him for this while this investigation's going on. But they, they didn't. They, they stood firmly by uh, Kurt Zuma. Um, ha- he played throughout the whole period of this um, uh, investigation. And not only that, the club then uh, fined him as ma- maximum wages. They then gave him, I think he went on to a course um, to, to help uh, re- rehabilitate his uh, thinking and how he conducts himself, etc. That they've, they've handled it really well and firmly stood by him. And not only have they stood by him during that period, they've then given him the club captaincy, which is, I mean, that's remarkable. Really, when you think about it, because that was a player that was hounded by the media um, not long ago, not long ago at all. And the club stood by him. And the manager, uh, let's be honest, David Moyes would have been a key part of that. David Moyes would have really, you imagine, make the ultimate decision. One, on whether he would be dropped and wouldn't play the player. And two, whether he'd been made club captain. So the fact Zuma has now had that, and acknowledged it as well. He's come out and, well, one, he's taken the captaincy, and two, has come out and publicly said um, that he, he's very grateful to David Moyes and the football club. That doesn't scream to me a player that's really keen to move on. It really isn't. Now, we did a, a video a couple of days ago regarding player contracts. Lucas Paqueta, we talked about. So if you haven't seen that, go back. Talks obviously ongoing with him, and hopefully we can get a new deal arranged with that player because that would be another huge Huge uh, statement if West Ham can get Paqueta to sign a new long-term contract with, of course, the caveat being that we take out that buyout clause or release clause, if you want to call it, um, from his current contract. That's, I believe, the plan and what West Ham are hoping to do. It's a feeling about West Ham is strange now that I I actually get confident now with us. I I don't know why. Like When you go back to the Declan Rice situation a couple of years ago when... When the club were offering, making these offers to Declan and the, you know, eight year deals, 10 year deals, a quarter of a million pound a week, all these things we kept hearing about these offers. I always got the feeling it was a bit, one, too late and, uh, you know, and two, just a bit desperate. Like we were just sort of just throwing it together. Yeah, it's offering this, offering that. I don't know. There's just a feeling about West Ham. We operate a little bit differently now. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to think Stuyton's got a, um, plays, has a hand in that and how we, we're conducting ourselves. You know, there was talk about the regarding the Bowen deal that he was heavily involved in that, convincing the player uh, and his team that this was the right move for him, etc. Just you just get the feeling that if Stuyton's involved, it just gives you a little bit more confidence, you know. So, as much as you know, I'm, I know I'm going off track here talking about Paqueta, but you know, when you think about him and the, the links he had at Manchester City, 
usually I'd be thinking, well, it never to be. I've, I hear a lot of fans say it to me, you know, yeah, well, Paquetta's gone, Paquetta will go, he's probably going to go in January, we de- he will definitely be gone in the summer. I'm not so sure, really not. I'm, I'm, I'm quietly confident, actually, that something might happen there, I really am. And I've got to say, I'm the same with Zuma. I, I don't, I don't believe that Kurt Zuma is a player at the moment that's unhappy in any way. I think he's a player that's very much settled in London at West Ham. I, I believe what he says. I think he is a player that is really proud to be the club captain. So I, I, I just do not see a circumstance where he, he leaves the club at, at any time soon. I just don't. Of course, there's the other side of the coin, which is the the money. You know, if if Saudi Arabian club comes up to Kurt Zuma and says we'll offer you half a million pound a week, and he's on you know hundred or grand a week at West Ham, then you know it's going to be quite difficult. I understand that, especially being his age and etc. Um, but again, I, I I don't know. I, I don't know. I just I, I'm 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 looking at West Ham now, and I see like unity. I see a, a, a club and a, a group of players that seem happy. There is the exceptions, of course. You've got the Pablo Fornells, doesn't seem overly happy at the moment, which you can understand. He wants more first team football. Um, his contract's obviously a big question mark over that, whether he'll be kept on. It's hard to say, isn't it, at this stage? Um, Aaron Creswell, of course, as well, another player that you get the feeling that he's coming towards his end of his West, uh, time at West Ham. But th- that aside, I don't see a group of unhappy players. I don't, uh, you know, I, I, I can't see Kurt Zuma being a player that's unhappy. I just don't. I, I, you know, if you put yourself in Zuma's uh, shoes in his situation, is that you're playing every week, you're the club captain, you know, he's a top earner at the club. The club are also sitting down with Kurt Zuma to try and get a new contract agree. I, I think he'll sign. I, I actually do think that prior to next summer arriving, or possibly even January, I think we might get a commitment out of Zuma. He's got 18 months to run on his contract, so he's still got next season anyway. I, I don't see West Ham selling. I, I really don't. I don't think West Ham got any in, interest in doing that. Bearing in mind as well, he's the club captain and we've just sold our club captain. And the season before that, we lost Mark Noble, obviously through his retirement. The club will not want to have a, a, you know, a fourth captain in the space of you know, that period. They're not going to want it. You know, so you don't want to go from Noble to Rice to Zuma to then the next person. They won't want to do that. And I just get the feeling, if you listen to um, or read uh, Zuma's words regarding the manager, I think there's a lot of loyalty there. I really do. I think there's a lot of gratitude. I really do. And for that reason, I, I genuinely don't feel concerned. I really don't. I, don't. I don't think there's any reason for us to feel concerned at this stage. Um, as I say, you know, and the reason I bring up the Thomas Suchek article first is because it kind of just shows you sometimes that the media can sometimes pick up on stories because that Suchek story has now gone further now than the Daily Mail. It's now in the sun. It's doing a few other places, popping up in places. And we know, as as, as on this channel and across and most West Ham fans do know, that, that Suchek signed a deal. So I just don't really buy into this. I really don't. So for now, um, I'm quite confident that Kurt Zuma will be a West Ham player for quite some time to come. Thank <laughs> you.